Does that sound okay? So um, the first, so I don't know when you were here last, but the first thing you should know is that this room started as a blank canvas. And um, I pulled all these chairs in the right place, so we can we can do that now, um, which is kind of cool. Um, let me stay a little bit with the content, though. Um, and, and then let me pull back and say it wasn't a blind canvas. There are templates also, and there was a template that had six different areas, right? And one of the things, one of the things that I want to really kind of, I don't know, get into the mind, your mind and other people's minds is, um, how youth voices can be used in lots of different ways. Um, and, let, let, so let's move up for a second to this room on the left. Uh, what's going on? Sorry, I'm coming. <laughs> there you go. So, so the idea here is is some sort of um, um, jigsaw, right? If we had twelve people in the room, like um, we could have everybody would be sitting in a different chair. And then I could say, okay, everyone who's sitting in a red chair, go up and go to the red group, right? And everyone's in a blue. So, and then, so there could be like expert groups and then you can come back eventually. But here's what the, the most exciting thing that they did most more. Re so, oh, I'm sorry. Go over and get some coffee here in the corner. Yeah. You don't have to physically. You can just click on it. There you go. You have some coffee. So now there there are other non-alcoholic drink beverages available in different ways too. Um, just just to say. So that's nice that they've followed through that. So let me show you this space, and just so you know that there are five other spaces like this one. So, yes. Sure. Please keep interrupting. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. No, no, no. Go, go to settings, and you can find the audio range. There are now four settings. There's quiet, normal. If you watch it, I'll do it. See how quiet goes really small. Normal is what we were at, and then loud kind of is bigger. But then, but then you also have entire room. When you put entire room on, everything's everything's on, right? Yep. Yep, and you can you can they have like. 30 seats in there. You can put fewer in or you could do whatever you want, but yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> that's interesting. No, that's cool. 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 Uh, so the more, yeah, the more you want to find out the great better. I do. I I am going to kind of emphasize. I do want to also push <laughs> this idea of six um, discourse types that are available on Youth Voices, and we want to kind of explore the different possibilities there. So if you click on the link on the table on the iPad there, you see what opens. So this is this is pretty hot. You can you can like really really easily pull an iPad onto a table here and then link to whatever you want the kids to go to, right? Um, but but let's look at this first one for a second. Um, yeah. Um, no, no, I'm okay. I'm okay doing it this way. Yeah, no. Yeah, I, in fact, I think there's less presentation stuff because of like we can both click on that link and we can both be on the same page. So I think it works. But just to see there, 
the, we, I'll, I'll mention that content just very briefly, just so you can see it. So yeah, just click on that link and it scrolls down to where you see activity status update. Is that what you see? No. Okay, hold on. So click on the iPad and then, then a, a friend, okay. Uh, in a, in a orangish pinkish box, it says activity status update. And then there's a quick definition of what that is. And then a, a description of how, how youth do it. Then there's a link to Brendeley's activity timeline. And then a stream of all recent public activities. Um, you can kind of get a sense. So you're like a, a genius with um, social media, I got to say. So this is really social media, but we want kids to, to kind of start using youth voices that way. So we, um, Jessica and I were having kids just pop when they first come to class, do a quick activity posts of how they're feeling today right and then it's their exit thing too and then but what also happens is that anything they put on now comment also gets put on that activity stream as well um so it becomes sort of their their status updates right but from from many different places yeah Oh, I did see those kids too. So, so, um, there is a technical glitch right now that is being worked out. So it will be happening very soon. L let me just check who just came in and see if they want to join us. Anna's here. Hi, Anna. There are just a few of us. There's just a couple of us here. So welcome. So, You could. Yeah, you could also, but you, you could also put that, you could also pull over a YouTube screen and let that, and let that be in a section of the room and it, yeah. Well, in a space about this size, yes. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, actually you tell yes. Yeah. Um if you come close to the screen you'll hear it. If you move away you won't hear it. Yeah. It it works pretty well, I think. Uh oh, you're not distance learning. <laughs> yeah. That'll be interesting. <laughs> true, true. All right, so that's, and then uh, in the lower left-hand corner re, where you see those question marks flying up, um, you click on that corner. Okay. Did it come open? Good. So it's a whiteboard that you can add to. And mess around with and just leave messages there that way so each of the way I've set this up and I I am thinking that that like your students <laughs> could come to this room and use this sort of the same way you're using it now right um, so if they had some question about what are these status updates why do I have to do them whatever they want to do they could leave a message like that there if they want to I did, um, I didn't mention that back on that, um, and Anna was one of the people last week who said to do this. I, I, add, there's a fourth column that has two links on it. In this case, one link takes them to the first activity. And so it gives you activities that are related to activity posts and status updates. Shall I point to that again? So open up. Open up the um, iPad again, and over here 
it says here are two ways to test this type of discourse yourself, right? So this is sort of like a Rashomon, <laughs> it's like different ways to get them into the playlist, right? So the, they can complete the first the first activity, and then let me see. Also, the first activity in making your mark um, is what you did already, the describing the habits of mind, right? So both of those things would, would have them building their activity stream. I'm not going to slow down on all of these that much, but I just, so that's, that's this first area. And I'd love for you to kind of think about how that integrates into your work in some way. Um, again, one of the things we added toward the end of the spring was that they can go to each other's walls and they can um, leave messages for each other on each other's walls. Um, if they just if they just go up and into members and find the student or if they're if they friend each other, that all works out too. Um, just trying to think if there's anything else. Oh also when you first go to your wall um, you see what you've been talking to other people about or or any messages to you. But then when you hit news feed, you can see any message or any activity that any of your friends have been doing. Right. So there's so getting kids to start using this in a social networking kind of way is is one of the efforts here. It's one of the six. Fair enough. Um, now, in theory, I would want to introduce all of this to a group of students and in whatever chair they're in, say, okay, go up to the next one, but let's just go around the room. Come on up to the next one. Yeah. Okay. Notice you can get some water out in the water cooler, but, um, or more coffee if you need. But this one is um, a, a different, I, I'm trying to argue it's a different kind of discourse. Um, if you click on the, that one as well. These, this is where um, we've had kids keep journals, but it's also like a writer's notebook. I mean, you do amazing things with notebooks and stuff. This is just sort of suggesting a one more digital version of all of that. Right. So it could be places they experiment with things, places they and then just to know that in these docs, they have the ability to use them like a wiki so that they could say only people in my group can edit this. But then or, you know, or they can make it totally private or they can leave it sort of public to everybody who's logged on to the site. Um, but rough drafts, you know, giving, giving each other feedback before something gets finally published is what that's all about. Does that make some sense? Yeah. Wow, that's interesting. So, but let me just um, jump. Let me just put push back against against. The, I think finding stuff in Google eventually is pretty hard too. But one of the really lovely things about this is that when you do a doc, um, it automatically um, again posts to your to your wall your activity stream and says, um, you know, Paul, Paul made a, a, uh, a doc about blah, blah, right? And puts the title there, right? And that goes to your activity stream. And then when you edit that, when you go back in and edit it later, 
it also puts that to your activity stream too, so you can kind of track what's going on with the kid. Um, and then later, when they're pu pulling together their portfolio, they can go through their activity stream and find that stuff, right? And then that's why we have bookmarking, which I'll get to right at the end. I promise I wasn't going to spend this much time on each thing, but <laughs> these two, but these two, these two are are the two things that, especially like when you think about blogging, or you think about I, anyway, the legacy, the legacy of youth voices. Right? For many years, we we were mainly about you know getting that blogging post up and getting kids to comment on it, but these two things are more informal i guess you'd say more yeah um so but i think i think we'll make kids like care about being on the site and care about connecting with each other and in different kinds of ways so there's that and then come on up and i can spend less time here <laughs> but but click on click on the so the idea here is that they would be in small groups and become like an expert on the notebook, become an expert on the commenting, become an expert on discussion posts, and then come back to the to the larger group and then kind of talk about what is this thing called youth voices, right? But just click, the one thing I want to show you on the comments, because most people don't know this is here. Um, you see the pink boxes come up? Okay, you do. Oh, really? Because it doesn't mind. I wonder why. Oh, that's curious. I wonder why. Um, are you on? It's a. Are you on Chrome? Huh. Okay, doesn't matter. So, where it says comments and replies. This the all. This is actually on the toolbar on the uh, main um, menu too, uh, way over on the right. But all recent comments is a really nice view to kind of see what everybody's doing in terms of commenting. Um, by the way, I recently enlarged the font so that it's easier to read. I think. So do you see that page? I think that's, I think that would be like a wonderful way to kind of show k kids all the different things that are going on and then th the different kinds of approaches people are taking to commenting, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know about all about the guides too, right? In relation to that. So there's that. But here's here's the thing. I mean, you can keep saying that. But I would be happy if you wanted to set up an hour, probably, um, with people and like take them through this room and not necessarily about you should really be doing youth voices, which, you know, I think, <laughs> but really about the discourse. Like what, what are the different kinds of communication kids can do online? And, right? And so, I think an hour. I, yeah. But yes, probably we could do it in two minutes and then they won't get anything, right? But, but I think in an hour, an hour gives you enough time for them to have conversation with each other and then come back and talk about it. Um,
That's cool. What would be cool is if if we could get six of them to like one of them just sitting in each room as a guide to the other your your colleagues, right? That would be so. Come on over to discussion post just for a second. <laughs> so nothing nothing terribly new here, except that I don't know how familiar you are with the block system. So when you click on that, I I am trying to emphasize blocks and what's nice about blocks is that um oh good i wonder why the others didn't work but okay so these are the you know again this is what when chris sloan thinks about youth voices this is what he thinks about oh, sam, sam reed also like and and so but and i don't want to take away from that at all but um thinking about thinking about how you can add images right next to things um and there are all, all sorts of other blocks like you can you can put you can put the ted talk right inside it right an article you've read you can embed the article right in your right in your piece so there are lots of things you can do with the block editors that um it, it's worth spending 5 minutes to go look at that sometime um and then over on the right side, there is one example, which is writing their bio, right? That we're recommending they do first. They write their bio and then they record it. So they're, you know, doing something multimedia, um, but also introducing themselves. Yeah, that's making your mark. And, and the, um, the profile one and making your mark, we tested with a bunch of, Lehman students who are going to be student teachers in in the spring, and and so, so we're pretty sure those two. The we is me and Mar Marina, by the way. Um, we're pretty sure those two work, um, and that you know we've found all the bugs and so forth. So that's there. Um, come on down to pu multimedia, multimodal publishing. Are we on? Oh yeah, I think we are. Doesn't matter. I just want to change the audio range just for the fun of it. There we go. Doesn't matter. I was just wondering why you could still hear me. So this one this one is overlaps with the one above, but in multimedia publishing, look at that for a second. Um the middle area here, youth compose. So I mentioned the blocks here again. But then flipbooks uh, is something new on Youth Voices, um, pretty easy to do. You basically get PDFs or images and put them on each page and then it becomes a flipbook. It's kind of fun. Um, web stories um, is something we messed with last year around six word memoir. They just, I, I will just say this, Google keeps upgrading and there's so many um, guides and tools in there now. It's kind of a, a if a kid got interested, they could really learn it themselves. But that's that's pretty cool. And then podcasting, the, the this I believe podcast is for me the the best example here. But and then there are some examples that I pointed to there. And then on the far right. There's the write a six word memoir. And then think about, well, do you want to make this a video? So thinking about multimodal publishing is what this is all about. And then any, should I slow down or are you okay? <laughs> okay. And then um, in the corner of each room is a place to leave questions, right? Just to say that again. Yeah. No, you, it should just open. If you let it spin, it then comes to a page that says questions, concerns, ideas. Yes. Um, yeah, have I created it? I just, I actually, all I did was, um, yeah, I did. <laughs> 
Yeah, I, I went into Eraser and, and made it, and then there's a link there. There are other ways to use whiteboards on here, but I I was preferring, like you can pull a whiteboard over and it'll do the same thing. But I what I was preferring was this being able to see the same box come up all the time, right? So the, the simplicity of that. Um, anybody can go in and erase them, so no. So, um, so you could, you could, you could link to other things too. You could link to a Google Doc. You could, <coughs> absolutely. Yep. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I'm thinking about it, but <laughs> one, one, one of the weird things about these, these embed things that pop up is you can't log in, um, when you're in it, but there is a link at the bottom and it takes you out and you can log in, but, but just, just know that, yeah. Oh, are you on Schoology? So I can, I can, if you care, <laughs> I can set you up on Schoology to, um, I just did it with somebody to, so that it, it, if they're logged into Schoology, they'll automatically be logged into, um, to now comment as well. But if it, Yeah, so if you want to start that process, we can do it. It's probably not that big a deal, right? Because it's easy to get into now, comment, same so. Yeah, yeah, no, there, um, what's my call it? It's up there. Um, it's a lovely, it's called the adoption. Um, that's up there as well. Um, I put that up for Harry Break this summer. Um, yeah. Uh, it's okay. The, the other, the other thing worth thinking about is, um, Hen Hen Henrietta Lacks, um, Chris Sloan used that with his seniors, and that so that whole thing is there too. Um, I, let me circle back to now comment for in a bit. Let, just let's just finish the sixth room, because I I am proposing this as like if you want to talk to people on your staff sometime, and, and you you can give me feedback on whether way way this is too much or or what we'd have to do to get here. So the last one is bookmarking and working with portfolios, right? So if you open that, or working portfolios, sorry. So the idea here is that, <clears throat> let's start way on the right this time. The two things you could do to experience this is that you could go to your wall, bookmark a couple of activities, I say three, I think, um, and then go in and reflect on why you bookmarked those. These are this, you know, this thing that I wrote in now comment is really important because, or this thing, this, you know, note that I, whatever, this thing I put in my notebook is really important because, so you, you kind of bookmark those things. And, and what Jessica and I were, you know, we, we weren't consistent, <laughs> but what we were hoping to do is like every week, like Friday morning is bookmark time. Go back and bookmark something from the week that, you know, is important to you. And then on their, on their profile walls, there is a tab to bookmarks. And so you can also teach them to start looking at each other's bookmarks rather than trying to sift through all of the activity stream. Right? 
So it's sort of built in ongoing reflection, um, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah, so that's cool. And then and then the big picture here <laughs> is to to get started with a portfolio like in the first couple of weeks. And the way the way um making your mark does that so this suggests that they could go do the second oh yeah and you're right you're ready to do this frankly um so making your mark starts with the habits of mind then goes to portfolios and says hey choose choose three habits of mind that either represent you or what i like out or you aspire to or that you want to get better you know three that are important to you in some way right Uh huh. Oh, cool. Uh huh. Very cool. So in in the web stories, so wait, so they're giving those speeches in your class or in the speech class or in your class? So they that could be the, one of the things they publish, right? As, as a, yeah. yeah, they've done. It. So, so the idea, but the the idea here is that, and you'll see it, um, is that um, there are templates and like there's, it's really easy to copy um, a page. So, so I put all sixteen pages. They can just copy the page, and then they have to you know personalize it. But but the idea is that to set up three right now and then leave a bunch of blank pages and then during the semester to be able to go back and add to the portfolio. Because cause what we've found is that people leave it, I meet myself too, leave it to the last two weeks and it's like, oh my gosh, I wish they were doing that reflection earlier, right? That's what we always say. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. And and accuracy and yeah yeah you every one of them probably you could do a negative thing on yeah
Mm-hmm. Is that true? I don't. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. 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 It's funny. There. Right. And there was a, um, there was a resident from Lehman I mentioned earlier, who you'll notice their, their comments are on that document too, which is wonderful. Um, but the um, it's wonderful how layered it is, like your students last year, our students from Lehman, and then, anyway, and, and then your students again this year. But one of them point, pointed out that how different the habits of mine are for somebody who's autistic, right? Like, you know, striving for accuracy may not be what they should do. You know, um, flexible thinking may be really, really hard, you know, and so to make that a goal for somebody isn't really fair. So I thought that was, yeah, really thoughtful. Yeah. But but what I said to her, and I would say to your, the young man you were talking about, is that this is a great conversation, and these habits have given us language for having the conversation, right? Right. So, yeah. So. Mm hmm. That's related. Yeah. Right. That's interesting, yeah. So I I haven't gotten up, them up yet, but there's a new set of images for each of the habits. By the way, I'm I'm in touch with Ben at, um, doing another project with her. So um, she every once in a while goes in and comments on stuff. So that's it's nice. Um, she, yeah, yeah. Her. Yeah, but there's a new one. <laughs> so she said, "Yeah, it, and they're 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 dynamic and they're beautiful." And anyway, um, also let me uh, qu I will share screen now, or you could go. Well, I'll share screen. Now, I guess I wanted to show you that uh, staying on the habits for a second. Um, will this work? Am I sharing screen? Okay. So if I go to, let me just show you how to do this. If I go to members and I search for Paul Hankins, if I just search for Paul, what happens? Oh, all the people who I have friended come up. <laughs> it didn't work. Oh. Uh, it doesn't matter. Let me just let me just go to this student. So, do you see um, Mercedes 
Hans. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. So, um, one of the things that's on here, and you can is especially since your kids are starting with the habits of mind, is that they can go to each other's. Like I'm going to hers, and I'm going to say, uh, you know, you're reading. Is good. Okay. So I I've read. Let's say I've read her comment on this. I, I can I can scroll across and choose a habit of mind and say that one really shows a lot of creativity, right? And I and so instead of smiley faces, they can give each other habits of mind indications like that. Right. And just and, and this is yeah. Right. Oh the, and what right. And they can actually do that for their own too, by the way. Their own, their own, their own activities. So yeah, the um, and I'm dumping too much information, but just to say, when when they make a post, um, a discussion post, um, they um, there's a category for each of the habits of mine, so they sort of can nominate themselves and say this post represents these three habits of mine, right, um. So we then have to go in and officialize that, but anyway, that's that's a nice. So want to keep thinking about how they can give each other the you know recognitions and themselves and all of that. So there's all that, yeah. Do you, do you, I, I don't know Schoology enough to know, but does Schoology like have, how do you, do you, do you go from school, inside of Schoology, do you go to your Google Docs? Do you, are there like programs that you can go to? But you choose which ones for your class. So if we hooked up Schoology, through your district, then a teacher would be able to choose now comment as one of the things. And then and then a student would just click on that and go directly to it without logging in, right? Yeah. Yep. Yes. So, yep. So there would be a now comment one there as well. Yep. Um, I just helped somebody in Denver set that up. So I think I, if you set me up with the tech person, it's just like you have to get a magic key and then you have to put in the URL in the right place. And, you know, we could do it. We did it in about a half an hour. Um, so we could do that. Um, yes. Oh wait, this is in this is on Kuma Space. Yeah. Yeah, I don't I don't know if those are useful. They might be. I don't. Yeah. They don't stay very long, which I think is. I'm losing you. Sorry. I said they don't, they don't stay very long, which I think is probably a good thing. You know, it's, it's sort of like, yeah. So how many, how many people here want to do this? Give me a thumbs up if you want to do it and you could just, right. So, yeah. Right. Although, although how fast do they disappear? They, do they, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. Cool.
Oh no. Uh huh. Wow. Was it a sudden passing or? Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. I see. Yeah. Um, do I have you just three more minutes? <laughs> just so let me just. I'm gonna share again, and then and you could go there, but. Let me just uh, let's let's try to address the the uh, graphic novel question. And if you have if you have one you want that you're going to read, but I'll show you what's here though. Um, so I'm on now comment now. Yeah. Oh, am I? I didn't share. Yeah, it's I'm my. You got it? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm at the bottom. So down here under literature and the arts, and I'm actually creating a literature homepage just to make this easier. But okay, but let's look here. So the adoption is a graphic novel. Oh, yeah, duh. Um, Kindred is up as a graphic novel. It's out. Oh, do you know that graphic novel? So, wow. Oh, yeah. There's, um, so in the short stories, I'm just trying to remember the name of the story. Um, which you've contributed to, but there is there's a short story here by her. Uh, um, where is it? Oh, blood bloodchild, bloodchild like sticks in my brain. I it just drives me crazy. I, <laughs> um, anyway, so so here's what I was going to recommend, or I'm um, so we <laughs> nobody's used it yet, but. Again, Jessica was like, I love Kindred, but I like the graphic novel better. So I put both up. So it would be nice. So Kindred, the the novel is up here and then the graphic novel is here. So they're both here. And you could like, you know, compare, right? <laughs> so I, they... I find them online somewhere and copy and paste. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, I'm pushing the envelope on, <laughs> on fair use. I know that, but, but each one of these documents is, is fair use, <laughs> but anyway, and, and just to know there's no legal numbers, like the 10% thing is all made up somewhere. That's not real. Um, and anyway, and, and the biggest thing is safe Harbor that if any, if a publisher came and said, Hey, you guys take that down, we would just take it down, you know, and, and it'd be done with. So it's just like that. No, well, I, I'll say, I'm sorry. The, um, or I'll say, I'll say, you know, we were doing this for ethically positive things about getting kids to read and, you know, talk to each other about that book. And it, anyway, so. It's okay. I, I, I've, I've, I've imagined the conversation with the judge and it, it, it goes okay. <laughs> but so Kindred, huh? So. So Kindred is also coming out on HBO, I think, this season. 
by the way, as a movie. Yeah, so I think I think I think Kidred is is hot. So I also for seniors, the immortal life I think is amazing also. Um there's your Tuesday. I'm looking at so Persepolis is here. Um I think Mouse is here too. I'm just trying to say that without Mouse. Oh, okay. So you wouldn't want to do that again, probably. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, I don't see mouse here. Um yeah, do look at the adoption, especially because um it's a young immigrant. Um I wonder where um Then, do you know um, the arrival? Yeah. I think so, but I don't know why it's not listed here. Yeah, but I think if I just search for the arrival, I'll show up. Yeah, the arrival's here. Um, and I don't know why I don't have it in the literature. And for a while, the images were broken, but I think I looked recently and they're back. Yeah. So what's, what's, what's nice about this, and um, like ninth graders did this a couple years ago, is that, you know, <laughs> is, is what you can do with the little image, you know, highlighting little pieces. Okay. Um, is it? Um, so Um, I, the, the reason I'm pausing is that I think there are different ways to do it and I forget. Um, what, what's getting messy though? Is it the stuff on the right side or is it the numbers? Uh, okay. I, I thought those were not so... Um, yeah, let's look. And now you could, you have the ability. I need to find a better way to do this. Hold on. Yeah. Well, and and actually, that's the better way, right? Is, I mean, I always found that they they should have it in their hands and it be on the screen, and like they they and like say, oh, this. Let me go comment it. For you. Yeah. Um. So I'm looking here, and there are 207 comments on this first. That's a lot. Some of those are your students. So how do I turn off what the, these numbers? I see. Yeah. Well, yeah, I get it. Um,
Right. I always I always pitch that as a positive, but I I try to listen that people don't necessarily agree. Um, so I get I get it. I'm just, I'm looking to see um, if there's a way to close. I don't think comments sorted. No, 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 no. Combine. No. Um. Okay. So here's just so you know, Jessica Hernandez Spear owns this one. She right. But you could become the owner. And then you could, you could for a time period, you could block all comments. So it just comes in as blank. So that's a possibility, but it takes a little messing around on your part. Um, you have to transfer the document to you and then, <laughs> but so I could help you do that if you want. Ah. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Well, Paul, thank you. I I yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> No, I, I mean, I see you all the time on all the social media, but it's it's nice to actually sit down and talk, too. <laughs> but thanks. And really do think about, I mean, I'd be happy to introduce this. Again, not necessarily like sign up for now comments, sign up for youth voices, but more like what's the kind of discourse kids can do online, right? Uh, to, and, you know, you use whatever tools you want to use. But, yeah, cool, yeah. He's, yeah, he, he said he wanted to jump in tonight, but he, yeah, Philadelphia doesn't start till after Labor Day, so there, he's still like in his end of summer, yeah, so, okay, talk to you soon, what, that's right, that's it, that's a different feature, indeed, indeed, okay, talk to you, bye.